Ugandans living far off grid lines are now powering their gadgets in a very flexible way. With a small down payment, people in rural Uganda are owning solar systems to use in homes. It's plug and play. And then uh, they make payments um, either by the day, by the week or the month uh, for the solar power. Um, and until they pay off the full amount and then they uh, have unlimited use of the system. Using their mobile linked account called a money wallet, households are able to top up their payments to light or power their gadgets. Up to 50,000 households living in rural Uganda are able to benefit from solar power paid in installments. For as low as 40 US cents, people like Ale Nachintu are able to power their bulbs and watch TV, even without completing their payments. Designing solar solutions for people in rural Africa is on the rise. But this credit system aims to improve lives of the very poor without impacting on their daily earnings. Before we got solar power, we used lanterns, but it would consume a lot of kerosene. That was a lot of money. But when we got solar, there was a big difference in the money spent. And then came the light, which was as good as electricity. Demand for solar energy solutions is growing. And to meet this need, the providers of this credit solar system aim to deliver the services closer to more rural households. All off-grid customers in Uganda, and one of the challenges is that many of them live very far um, from traditional distribution points of sale. And so reaching customers um, at the last mile is costly. We do all of our um, credit applications over a toll-free number. So from the comfort of your home, um, you can make a toll-free call to Phoenix and we will do the credit assessment over the phone. In Uganda, only about 15% of the population has access to electricity. In contrast, this solar company hopes to reach more than 150,000 Ugandans living off-grid with clean and renewable energy by 2016. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, in Central Uganda.